Hello, my sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Celeste, and I am very excited to share with you some of the things that I have made this week, as well as some new additions to my sewing room and what my plans are for the following week. So let's get right into it. So the first meme that I made this week was this tree skirt for my January tree. I'm going to pop a picture up here for you to see. Um, I keep my four and a half foot to five foot tree up all year long and I decorate it for different seasons. And so for January, it's all snowmen, which now that I live in Florida, you know, that's going to be a real miracle if that happens. But all that I did was I just took about a yard and a half of fabric and just did a basic serge stitch around the bottom of that. I'm trying to preserve as much fabric as possible because I'm still looking for that perfect uh, skirt uh, that doesn't look too Christmassy, uh, if that makes sense, uh, to put underneath it for each of the seasons. And so I'm still researching that. So if you have any patterns that are free that I can download or other patterns that you would suggest, uh, I would greatly appreciate that. You can place those in the comments below. So that has been a UFO. And if you're new to sewing, that means an unfinished project that I've had for uh, probably seven years. So I felt very accomplished that I finally got that surged. <laughs> That's a small thing. The second thing that I did was in my previous video, I showed you that I'm still working on those UFOs, Christmas pillowcases for my nephews and nieces. And so I actually got two completed. So I got the boys done. <clears throat> so here's the finished product of that. We have this done here. <clears throat> I used the basic serger. I did all of it was was three seams, pretty good. So I got one completed. I am working on the second one and pulling these threads through the seam to make it more professional. I've already fray checked each of the ends of it so it doesn't fray, and then I'll be pulling those through. So that's what I'm gonna be doing um, after this video and getting those accomplished. And then I'll be working on my niece's pillowcases. So one of the sewing tasks that I really do not like is ironing. I'm not sure if any of you can identify. <laughs> But uh, what I'm doing is trying to work smarter and not harder. And so when I'm having to iron my husband's work shirts or my shirts, then I'm taking my sewing in there and completing that. So I've already gotten everything ironed for the girls. And part of that is taking this smaller cuff here and putting wrong sides together and making a making it in half there. So I've, I've already ironed that, already ready to go. So it's all I have to do is just pin it up and start getting that sewing on the serger. So those are some things that I'm doing, things that I'm working on in the future. Now, let me show you some new things that I have in my sewing room. So I have a new helper in my sewing room. My mother gave me some money for Christmas. Um, and in previous years, I've always purchased my Christmas china. Um, but I've completed that. And so uh, I've taken the money that she's given and bought this dress form. I've always wanted one. It's not set up to the correct height or measurements, but it's put together. So I'm really looking forward to using this because it's kind of hard, as you know, to really um, make a garment fit really well if you don't have something like this. So I will link this particular uh, dress form down below. I thought it was very reasonably priced. And so I'm really excited about having this new addition to my sewing room. Now, some other things that I've added, as you know, I've been working on really putting this sewing room together. So now I do have my thread holders up here. I have my sewing machine thread as well as my serger thread there. So I'm really pleased with how that looks and it's gonna make it really easy to be able to use those um, and grab them very quickly when I'm at my sewing space. And then over here, I did add 
my little clothespin, and I currently have this 1926 magazine here that I picked up at an antique store, and I put it there. I also thought it'd be great to kind of uh, change that out and maybe put some of my quilting squares that I've done um, or other things that I'm working on as well. So let's go to the other side of the room and let me show you what we've done there. So I actually have placed my embroidery hoops on the wall using command hooks, and these are already things that I already had. So aesthetically, it doesn't look very good, but practically it does. Um, I think it's gonna be very efficient. Now I haven't actually taken them off and put them back on to use them yet, but I think this will be easy for me to use. And then later on, if I want to change out the hooks, I can do that as well. But this makes it just really easy to grab and also helps um, keep them in a safe spot where they're not going to be broken in a drawer. So I'm very pleased with that. And let's go over to the other side of the room and let me show you what I've put up on the wall. So in a previous video, I, put, I was gonna put this over the bookcase, but I decided to put it here by the window because it's closer to my sewing room, or excuse me, my sewing machine. And I thought that right now it's holding pictures that are you know, very uh, memorable to me, but also I'm gonna put this, uh, take the pictures down eventually and place different projects that I'm currently working on or the one that I want to do next, of different patterns or ideas. And so this will kind of be a kind of a planning board is what I'm planning to use it for. So I wanted to share a tool with you that has been really a great thing. Um, I found this in my parents' garage. My dad loved to do uh, woodworking and construction type, thing, type things as his hobby. Um, he has since passed, um, and so when I was going through his toolboxes, I found this bowl. It's magnetic, and he would put his nails and his screws in it, so as he was working on a project, it was much easier to place them in there, pull them out for whatever he was going to nail or screw, whatever. So I began thinking, um, I can use this in the sewing room. So what I'm using it for is to put my pins in, um, and it is wonderful. Um, I did go and look and see if Walmart or some of the big box stores have it, and they do. It's usually in their hardware aisle, and so I'm really enjoying this. It's a bigger surface area uh, than you know those pin cushions or those other smaller magnetic pin cushions, and it's really been really helpful in my sewing this past week. It has a great base to it, um, and so it doesn't slide. It really is heavy, and so it's been a great addition to my sewing space. And then lastly, I'm using my mother's Baby Lock and Light and Serger, and oh my goodness, <laughs> it self-threads. Oh, now I love serging. Um, I, I'm not sure about you, but I really disliked going and doing the upper and lower loopers because I would inevitably leave something out, forget a step or it would come out and then, you know, you don't have a perfect chain. And so um, it would take me forever sometimes to really get in there if you didn't have the proper lighting, what have you. But now you just put through the holes and it goes through and all I have to do is do the left needle and the right needle. So now I love searching. <laughs> it's a small things. So um, it's been a really help because these pillow cases just take three surged edges and then you are done. And so uh, it's been that really made, made it easier and I've been more efficient in my searching and putting things together. So what are you working on? I would love to know. Please comment below. And until next time, happy sewing. I'll see you in the next video.